This is my Pelican Bass Raider 10E two-man bass boat. I set out to show that these little boats really can be excellent bass boats when they're set up properly. If you will notice, everything has its place. You need to utilize every square inch of this boat to get your gear in and two people and still move around comfortably. You'll notice on this side of the boat there's nothing. And I've done this so I have a thoroughfare all the way to the back so I can move from the gas motor up to my foot controlled 45 pound thrust Minn Kota trolling motor. Now it really is quite comfortable the way I've got it set up. You'll notice that my trolling motor battery is quite large and I've got this positioned midways of the boat. I did this because of the, uh, the gas motor. Now this is a, a two-cylinder, six horsepower, two-stroke Evinrude. I was lucky enough to get this engine second-hand. I'm the second owner and this, this motor was only used twice. It is smooth and quiet for a two-stroke and it will flat make this boat move. Notice I have a transom saver installed. That's so. The engine doesn't bounce, excess, bounce excessively uh, while being trailered down the road. If that happens, this I would think very quickly would crack the plastic and a boat would be ruined. Now this motor, when I say it makes this boat move, it does. At full throttle, you can actually submerge the back. That's why I have, you know, this seam. You don't want this underwater, it can take on water. That's why I have the battery forward, and then once my wife, who's small, when she's in the front seat, it, it will be trimmed out perfect. Also, on the, the motor, you'll notice that I have this shimmed. I did that because these transoms on the Pelican are straight up and down vertical. Where a normal aluminum boat would be tilted. Because these are vertical, it kicks the propel the prop up too high. And when you nail it, it excessively pulls the back down. So I've shimmed that to correct it and added the weight up front and it does quite nice. Now, I couldn't find a rod, uh, rod holders, uh, rod storage holders for, that, I, that I liked. Uh, so I designed my own. These are plastic PVC pipe with Velcro lining. You'll notice I have them staggered so everything fits nice and ergonomically. At the back, they just pull out. So I can sit in the front seat without going back and simply pull the Velcro back and I have access to my rods. Notice, again, the plastic PVC lined with Velcro and you notice this lining on the back of the Velcro. That is extremely sticky. So on the top, for make, make it look a little nicer, I have printed an American flag stuck it directly to that glue and then applied a clear tape on top. I think they look quite nice. My foot control motor. I've noticed a lot of people on the internet doing different things to these boats and I wanted to see how far I could take it. <coughs> I like the boat so much, you know, I can afford a bass boat, but I just can't see it. <coughs> this boat goes places other fishermen just can't go. I see them in the, the big the bass trackers or what have you and they're, they're sitting out further. They, they just simply cannot go where I go. Uh, this boat with a paddle will skim right over grass and lily pads. I, I previously used a 
a 10 foot aluminum tilt trailer, but I found it to be a bit difficult because of the short, the short tongue. It, it was difficult to load and unload. I did have a small electric winch to pull it up on the trailer, but I didn't like dragging the boat. This is, this is a really nice trailer from Mid-America Trailers. And this boat just barely does fit it. It's, a, it's for a, a 12 foot aluminum John boat. I did have to move the fenders out slightly. And you can see it's a close fit, but it does fit. I didn't have any trouble. The motor pushed it right up onto the trailer. And I can't stress enough the need for a, a, a transom saver. As you can see, you know, I have my small minnow bucket with an aerator. There's room under the seat for my tackle box, everything at arm's reach. Small anchor. Everything secured so that we don't lose anything going down the road. It will happen, ask me how I know. My boat paddle, secured stately, uh, safely, again with Velcro. So when it's time to go fishing, all I have to do in the morning is hook it to the back of my little Jeep, and I'm gone. I found that I don't forget things, if they're always in the boat. Uh, you notice I have my, I do a lot of fly fishing, so I have my fly rod tucked nicely here. Now I do have extra rod holders on this side, but I like to keep this side open because I need to, to tra traverse from the, the position of operating the gas motor all the way up front to fish. So I don't want to be climbing over everything. I can step right up here one step, I'm around the seat and sitting in this in the, the back seat. It's the Pelican Tinny here in Indiana. These really can be an inexpensive bass boat. I have a a small cooler that I put here for ice and I just put my fish on the ice. So, I think it really is a, a tricked out little boat. I, I was going to go get a Weldcraft aluminum but then of course you have to build in the sides and everything to even come close to a bass boat. And you know, I had an 8 foot Pelican before and I liked it so much but I got another one. I really believe I've done about everything a person can do to trick out this boat and it does get a lot of looks, believe me. You know, when, I'm, uh, when I'm launching and retrieving, people look at it and they have a million questions. So, for the money, it really is a nice little boat. So, the Minn Kota foot control motor works out really well and is very sturdy. I hope everybody enjoys the video. I just com felt compelled to do this after watching other videos on YouTube. So I intend to post this and I hope everybody got some ideas from it. Thank you.